St. Peter Julian Amar, known as the Apostle of the Eucharist, is celebrated on August 2nd. His devotion to the Eucharist began early. At five years old, he was found in his parish church saying, I am here listening to Jesus. Throughout his priestly life, he worked tirelessly to promote devotion and adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and God bless you. St. Peter Julian Amard, born in France during turbulent times, Peter Julian Amard faced many challenges. Despite his father's opposition and personal illness, he pursued the priesthood and was ordained in 1834. Influenced by Jansenism, he struggled for spiritual perfection and eventually joined the Society of Mary in 1839. Peter Julian had an intense devotion to Mary, the Mother of God, visiting various Marian shrines throughout his life. Amard was an outstanding organizer of lay societies, a zealous educator, a well-prepared preacher, and a prophetic figure in his Marist community. On Corpus Christi, May 25, 1845, while carrying the Blessed Sacrament, he had a powerful experience that changed the course of his life. He felt an intense attraction to Christ in the Eucharist, resolving to bring all the world to the knowledge and love of our Lord, to preach nothing but Jesus Christ in the Blessed Eucharist. The Holy Eucharist became the all-consuming focus of his life. He said, The greatest grace of my life has been a lively faith in the blessed sacrament since my childhood. The Holy Eucharist is Jesus, past, present, and future. Amart believed that the spiritual malaise of his times could only be changed by the fire of Eucharistic love, with the exposition of the blessed sacrament as a sign of that love. In 1856, he founded the Congregation of the Blessed Sacrament, devoted to adoration of the Most Blessed Sacrament. He encouraged perpetual adoration as a response of love and frequent communion as a source of strength for the Christian life. Father Amard faced personal embarrassment, financial troubles, and physical exhaustion. Early on, he was unable to feed and provide for his congregation relying on a neighboring convent of sisters for assistance. Despite these challenges, the congregation continues to thrive today. In 1865, just three years before his death, Amard made a long retreat in Rome. During this retreat, he was struck by Christ's love and responded by making a gift of self, his will, personality, and affections to God in the Eucharist. He saw God's love manifested in the Eucharist. When your hour is particularly difficult, rejoice all the more. Your love will be greater for its suffering more. It is a privileged hour that will count for two. May we all draw inspiration from St. Peter Julian Amard's profound love for the Eucharist and his unwavering devotion to Christ. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and God bless you.